Yeah, hi there, we're going selfie style as I'm quite literally hiking through the marsh here in an undisclosed location outside of Tacoma to celebrate the 30th anniversary of a very special conservation effort. So it's our annual pond turtle release. Is there anything cuter? And it's sort of celebrating 30 years this year of this partnership we have with WDFW, the Oregon Zoo and ourselves to try and make sure that this turtle continues to live in the wild for future generations. Oh my goodness, aren't they fantastic? 30 years ago, the population of this native turtle was down to about 150. Now it's up to about 800 to 1,000 estimated. This is my friend D44 here, and that is what I track them from when they're very, very small until their release size. They'll also get a microchip, and then each turtle will also get a very minor shell notching, which you can see like right here. Now their shell is made out of the same material as our fingernails, so it would be as if I gave myself a really wacky manicure. And that will en enable our biologists to track them over time. The state has this property dedicated for managing this species, and so it's a super protected site. Ooh, look at D39 coming along. Enjoy your new forever home. Well, I'm a volunteer with the uh, State Fish and Wildlife. So there's three ponds, and there's the marshy areas that are cut in so that turtles can move from pond to pond. See you later, buddy. Yeah, there's only two native turtles in Washington State. Everything else uh, that you might see turtle-wise around here is invasive species. So it's really important to protect the, the native species in this sense. They're sort of a barometer for the ecosystems. Be free. Yay. I've been out here at 2 o'clock in the morning waiting, sitting, watching a turtle, <laughs> waiting for her to finish laying her eggs. 30 years of this program, which is pretty unusual to have such a long-term program of this nature in the conservation world.